chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again in this session we shall take 10 more questions from previous years these questions are all based on factorization and they will help us understand and revise all the various ways in which factorization can be done so let us start with our first question simplify whole square root of x square plus 3x plus 2 into x square plus 5x plus 6 by x square into this expression we have to simplify it and obviously some common factors will be there in the factor of this one in the factor of this one and in these two expressions those factors will cancel out and things will be simplified this is what we observe at the outset so what we will do is we will separately try to factorize these three fact quadratic expressions because they can probably be simplified into factors let us start with our first x square plus 3x plus 2 we'll start with our first expression then we will uh, factorize the second expression and then we'll factorize the third expression and after we have factorized all of them then we will write the whole square root to cancel out those factors so we will start with our first expression now this is a quadratic expression there are many ways to factorize it we can use factor theorem we can use observation so what i'll suggest is that when you have a uh, quadratic expression of this type then you can remember this formula this identity can always be very efficiently used which says x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b x plus ab so if you remember this identity is one of the identities that we discussed in one of our tutorials on identities so this means that a quadratic expression x square plus a plus b x plus ab can be simplified into two factors x plus a into x plus b to simply understand this this means if you can find two numbers a and b so that their product is the independent term and their sum is the middle term then the factors will be x plus a into x plus b if you haven't understood what i have said have a look at this how i will factorize it i can observe that x square plus 3x plus 2 can be written as x square plus i can write it as 2 plus 1 into x plus 2 into 1 this 3 has been written as 2 plus 1 this 2 has been written as 2 into 1 now you will say where have i got this 2 and how i have got this 2 so basically this needs some observation on our part we need to inspect the given expression to have a lot of practice so that we can split it efficiently into various parts like i have split 3 into 2 plus 1 and 2 has been written as 2 into 1 now i can think of this as small a think of this as small b think of this as small a think of this as small b when i compare this expression and this expression then i can very very easily write that the factors would be x plus 2 into x plus 1 because a will be added to x then b will be added to x so this is a factorization of this expression to summarize this you have to find two numbers whose product is 2 and whose sum is 3 and then this splitting is done so numbers were 2 into 1 2 plus 1 in this case let us take more practice with this one 
now we can we will first of all try to factorize plus 6 this will also give us more practice on splitting so we have to find two numbers such that their product is 6 and sum is 5 now we know that such numbers are 2 and 3 these numbers were small so it was easy to guess out so we can write this expression as 2 plus 3 into x plus 2 into 3 so this is what we can write and by our identity the factors would be x plus 2 into x plus 3 now we will repeat the same process with the third quadratic also let us write it x square plus 4x plus 3 proceeding in the same way what we need to find is two numbers such that their product is 3 and sum is 4 so by inspection we can see that such numbers are 3 and 1 so we can write this expression as x square plus 3 plus 1 into x plus 3 into 1 so this can be now factorized as x plus 3 into x plus 1 so now I have factors of all my four terms this is one factor this is second factor and this is the third factor I have factors of all my three terms so now all I have to do is substitute them into this expression so let us do that write it as square root whole square root of this is x square plus 3x plus 2 so I will put it as x plus 2 into x plus 1 and then this is all multiplied by x square plus 5x plus 6 for which we calculated here so we can write it as x plus 2 into x plus 3 and this is whole divided by x square multiplied by x square plus 4x plus 3 this is x square plus 4x plus 3 we split it into x plus 3 into x plus 1 so now we can easily see that this x plus 3 cancels with this this one cancels with this and we are left with whole square root of this is x plus 2 whole square and in the denominator we have x square so the rest is that these two squares will vanish out with the square root upper square root and we will be left with x plus 2 by x which is the answer so the primary thing in this was factorization we have seen that this quadratic can be factorized easily by using this identity and this technique will always be found helpful in all our other questions also so let us proceed to our next question he says factorize a plus b whole cube minus a minus b whole cube whenever you see such things then first of all what we can do is we'll first of all see the power it is a power of 3 this factorization will probably use one of the identities that involve cube so let us write first of all that identity so that we can see if we can find out some way out it is a cube minus b cube so we can re recall that we have an identity like this which is equal to a cube minus b cube so minus 3xy into x minus y we are already aware of this identity now we need cube of sum and cube of other so basically this joint cube will not work we will have to isolate this part on one side so which implies which implies x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y whole cube this 3x will go to the other side write it as plus 3xy into x minus y so we have taken this 3xy into x minus y to the other side it becomes as a plus sign 
Now we can see that x minus y is common. So we can further simplify it. x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y. Take out x minus y and we will be left with x minus y whole square because this cube 2 and 1 plus x minus y is already taken out. We are left only with plus 3x y. So this is what we see that this is one possibility that can help us. Now we can use the trick of substitution. We see that it is x cube minus y cube. This is a plus b. So wherever a plus b jointly is coming, x is here. Where a minus b is jointly coming, it is y here. So what we can do is put x as a plus b and y as a minus b. So this observation has helped us to reach at this substitution. This is called substitution. Now what do we need on the right hand side? We need, we need x minus y, x minus y and x y. So basically what we need is two things x minus y and x y. Once we have we can put them and see if we can arrive at something. So we have x minus y is equal to often things will simplify minus a minus b which is equal to or I'll write equal to here a and a will cancel out minus and minus will make it plus so we'll write it as like a minus a plus b minus minus b which is equal to 0 plus 2b which is equal to 2b. So we already have x minus y as 2b. And similarly, similarly, x minus y, uh, similarly we, we need to find out the product of x, y. Similarly, x, y will be equal to, so put a plus b into a minus b which gives me according to the identity a plus b into a minus b as a square minus b square. So I have with me x minus y as this value and x y as this value. So I label it as 1 put these values in equation 1. So when we put these values we get equal to we get equal to x minus y which is 2b 2b and this is one bracket this one this is again 2b whole square and plus 3 into xy xy is a square minus b square So what we have done is put x minus y as 2b everywhere it is appearing at this point and it was appearing here so I have written it here and xy the product is a square minus b square that I have put here. So now we need to simplify it which is equal to 2b into this will be 2b whole square 4b square plus 3a square minus 3b square. So this is what we get. We have just opened the brackets. So which is equal to 2b into 4b square and minus 3b square can be collected into b square plus 3a square. So this cannot be simplified further. Therefore the factorization is as this which is the answer. Let us move on to our next question. Here he says factorize a square plus 2a whole square plus 12 into a square plus 2a minus 45. First of all as we did in the last example we can always see that some terms are appearing together at every place. So we can just substitute to simplify our things to simplify our outlook. 
we will substitute a square plus 2a is equal to x. So everywhere it will be simplified into x. So we write we get we get x square plus 12x minus 45. This is what we get. So this is simplified into an easy looking expression. And after we do all those simplifications, then we can come back and substitute x for a square plus 2a. Now to factorize this part, we need to find out two numbers whose product is minus 45 and sum is 12. Like we did in our first example today. So by inspection, we can see that two such numbers will be 15 and minus 3. So we can write it as equal to x square plus 15x sorry 15 minus 3 into x minus 15 into 3 which is of the form uh, so if you write it very accurately then it should be 15 into minus 3 which is of the form which is of the form x plus a into x plus b equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. So this is of the form this one with a equal to 15 and b equal to minus 3. So now we will make this substitution. So factors are, so factors are x minus 15 into x minus minus 3, sorry x plus 15 and x plus minus 3. It is x plus a x plus b, x plus a x plus b. So factors are x plus 15 into x minus 3. But our ultimate target is to find the factors of this expression. So now we have to bring back x as a square plus 2a. So the required factors become a square plus 2a plus 15 multiplied by a square plus 2a minus 3. This means we have to now further factorize this component and this component. Let us first of all take this component. We will take them separately. Take this component first. So we will write it as a square plus 2a minus 3. This can be now written in the form. We will have to find two numbers whose product is minus 3 and sum is 2. So we can write it as a square plus 3 minus 1 into a plus 3 into minus 1. So it will be 3 minus 1 is 2 and 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. So this will be factorized as a plus 3 into this is minus 1 a plus b so which will ultimately become a minus 1. This is one factor of, this is factorization of this part. This means we have factorized this part. Now let us take about this part. We will write it as a square plus 2a plus 15. Now we have to find two numbers whose product is 15 and sum is 2. Product is 15 and sum is 2. So they probably do not exist. Now how do we when we we are unable to guess it out how do we make sure that no factors are possible so you can use this quadratic formula here b square minus 4ac to check whether the roots are possible or not so if i take out the square of this two this expression if i write it as x square plus bx plus c then this will have real roots factors if b square minus 4ac is more than 0.
This is one rule which I'll cover thoroughly in quadratics, but right now you can remember if an if a quadratic expression is of this form, then if b square minus 4c is more than 0, only then we can further factorize it. Now what is b square? It is 4 minus 4 into 15, which is equal to 4 minus 60, which is equal to minus 56 and which is less than 0. So this expression cannot be further factorized. Remember this rule, this comes very handy when it is not possible to guess. So therefore, what is our answer? This remains as such. Keep it as such and multiply it with the factors of the other expression which is a plus 3 into a minus 1. So this is the factorization of our given expression. Let us take our next example now.